Oh, we have an update tonight on that water crisis in Airway Heights. Three months later and wells are still being tested for unhealthy levels of contaminants. Fairchild Air Force Base in the middle of round four of testing, which has now expanded the test area beyond the, beyond the original area of concern. Some folks who live there say they are frustrated. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke working for you with their worries and also the latest on those tests. Jerry Gertz is the president of the Deep Creek Ranchettes Water Association, a Class A nonprofit public water system about two miles north of Fairchild Air Force Base. They service about 49 homes and 200 people. We have two wells out here. This one, you know, they're less than 100 feet apart. That one puts out 35 gallons a minute, and this one's 130 behind you. The first two testing phases focused on the training area south and southeast of the base, but the folks who rely on these wells were still concerned. How soon is it going to reach us? If it, you know, that's going to mean ongoing testing for us for foreseeable future. Jerry and his board decided to test their wells back in May. Both came back non-detect, which means their water is okay. But earlier this month, we spoke with Phyllis Dennis. She lives just streets away from Jerry and was not as lucky. I found out for sure last month that our water was contaminated. The well Phyllis used was one tested during phase three. 21 wells north of the base tested above EPA levels. That's what sparked this fourth round of testing as the base continues to seek a long-term solution. The Air Force Civil Engineering uh, Center is actually working with state EPA uh, and other community services to determine what the long-term mitigation for this entire community is. But for Jerry and the people who use his water, three months feels like too long to have waited for Fairchild or the Department of Health to get involved. Who's to say what's going to happen in the future? Nobody's going to want to buy if the well's potentially contaminated or is contaminated. So that, that's a lot of our frustrations. Fairchild did let us know that they probably have a few more weeks of testing the wells and are still actually reaching out to homeowners within the Phase 4 perimeter, which extends roughly one mile south and two miles north of Highway 2. Now, results take several weeks after that, so we will keep you posted. I'm Caroline Rourke, KXOI 4 News.